In the KXAN investigation, Oil Empire, we took a look at the Texas Railroad Commission. Now, perhaps the most powerful government agency in Texas, but it does have a misleading name. It has nothing to do with railroads, but everything to do with regulating the state's oil and gas. So it focused on Chairman Christy Craddock and the companies that pay her and her family, including Republican Texas Representative Tom Craddock, royalties as well as dividends. And today, Texas Monthly released a new investigation looking at just how much money the Craddocks made last year and give us some insight on the movements this legislative session. Joining us is Russell Gold of Texas Monthly. Thank you so much for being here My pleasure. to break this down. A lot of layers in this article. I had to read it twice to make <laughs> sure I didn't miss anything. Um, I do want to quote something that you referenced in your article and you said that it had been it's been an open secret in Austin for decades. Craddock referring to Representative Craddock mm -hmm. that not only does he regulate the oil industry, he also makes a lot of money from it in ways that are apparently are legal under Texas law, but pose large and obvious conflicts of interest. Right. Can you talk about how much money was made and how were you able to quantify that? No, it's a great question. Um, the Craddock family, Tom Craddock, the former Speaker of the House, still currently a member of the Texas House, his daughter, Christy Craddock, who is the chairman of the Texas Railroad Commission, and some family limited partnerships. Uh, I calculated that they earned at least $10 million last year. And this wasn't an unusual year. This is a year after year it's going on from royalty interest, mostly out in the Permian Basin of West Texas, some in South Texas. And what we did is we looked at all of the little fractional interest. These, they don't own oil wells. They're not pumping oil and mm. gas. What they do is they own fractional, tiny little slivers of each well. And then when someone else goes and drills a well, they'll get their 1%, half of a percent uh, in terms of the, the royalty interests. Okay, and now let's move on to uh, proposed legislation. So last legislative session, Representative Craddock introduced a bill really focusing on the flow of oil money targeting washouts. First, right, let's right. talk about what a washout is, and then I wanna delve into uh, what you realized and discovered about his interests. Right, well, washout is a very sort of niche, very complicated yes. part of the oil and gas industry, but the simplest way to explain it is that if you have something called an overriding royalty, it's just one way that you can own a sliver of a well. Uh, it, it gives you more legal standing. You can sue if someone comes and basically says, we're gonna wash you out and replace you with somebody else. It doesn't happen very often. So this legislation, um, the governor vetoed it, made it through the House and Senate last session. The governor vetoed it and said, no, this is just gonna create too many lawsuits. Uh, Representative Tom Craddock reintroduced it. It's making its way through the session. Mm. What he has never said, but what we found out, is that about half of his holdings are in these overriding royalty interests. He would benefit hugely from this bill. Okay, and talking about that proposed legislation that has made its way back, is the language still the same? Is the bill crafted the same? More or less the same. There have okay. been some small changes, but it's essentially the same. It gives owners of overriding royalty interests, the ability to go and sue if this were to happen, if it happens in bad faith. Okay, so you did reach out to the Craddocks. You reached out to the representative as well as his mm -hmm, daughter. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they declined your request for an interview, Correct. but what was the statement that they gave you? Well, the gist of it was everything, we follow all the applicable laws in Texas. We disclose everything that we're, we are required to. And they're correct on that. But frankly, for me, uh, that's more of an indictment of Texas laws because the, the disclosures that are required of our elected officials are so thin that it's hard to figure out who's making money from what. And so one of the things we found is that in one particular case, one oil and gas company they were doing business with, they had to disclose they made about more than $46,000 last year. Well, they actually made about two or three million dollars. It's much, much more. And the public really has no way to tell unless you did what we did, which is dig into about 40 different county courthouses, build a big spreadsheet. In other words, it's really inaccessible to the average person. Mm -hmm. Okay, and again, I like I said, I read through this article twice just to make sure I didn't miss anything for the viewers at home who have not read this what were your biggest takeaways from this article and something that they need to know I think that's a very important point that you brought up about our law yeah I look two big takeaways one we really are our, our disclosure laws our ability to know what our elected officials how they're making their money is very weak very difficult we are not going to know but the other really important point is that the Craddock family Tom Craddock who sits on energy resources oversees the Railroad Commission his daughter Christy who's the chair of the Texas Railroad Commission they are earning a substantial amount of money from the oil and gas industry 
And we ask our elected officials to represent us, to figure out what's in the best interest for us. And it's really difficult in the case of the Craddocks to figure out are they acting in the public interest or are they acting in their own personal family's financial interest? Okay, Russell from the Texas Monthly. Thank you so much. Thank you.